If your own picks have been just a bit outside, we'll never fear because me and Sean Higgs are here. I'm Allie Burns and I've got your free MLB pick. Hey guys, just a reminder, if you like what you see here, then like and subscribe to our YouTube page. And don't forget to ring that bell so you get notifications every time we post another free pick. Nationals and the Met this Wednesday, August the 12th. Nationals are five and seven. They're gonna start Anibal Sanchez. Mets are seven and 10 and we don't know who they're gonna start. There's no line out yet, Sean Higgs. How you doing over there, Man. Pretty good, pretty good. Yes, no line here for Mets and Nats. And, you know, are we shocked to see a starting pitcher not listed here in Major League Baseball? Of course not, because uh, that's the way these guys are going. We see a lot of teams pulling the old Tampa Bay. Let's send the guy out there for two innings and this guy for three innings. And, hey, we're the Mets. We might pull a Luke out of the bullpen and turn him into a starter. Like, what? what is this organization doing? The guy's been in reliever. Now what? you can just stretch him out in August of a short season? What? <laughs> Is that? Well, that's the I problem guess it's perfect, though, with the Mets. He can go three innings and five innings. And, <laughs> uh, mix it I don't up, know. mix it up. Well, that's the problem that the Mets are having right now is that Michael Walker, this is his scheduled start, and he's on the 10-day IL. They've got a lot of starting pitcher programs or problems. Stroman has been out all season. DeGrom has been kind of on and off it. Not to mention now second base Robinson Cano, shortstop Rosario, Jeff McNeil. They're all out for the Mets, too. So... I mean, it's not even just about finding a new starting pitcher. They need a new infield as well. You know, I got to say, I'm not sure what the line is going to be on this one, but I definitely lead towards the Nationals here. They've been really sharp. They're playing the Mets right now. Last time I checked, they were up 2 nothing. You mentioned the depleted Mets, and you got uh, Serger on the hill, who I actually took today. They were laying like 140 uh, two when I got down on it, and uh, they're up two one here. A great price. You know, I'll take it at that price. I have to. I usually I'm not a huge yeah. like once you get in that one sixty range, I just pass on these games. But what Sanchez going to be laying tomorrow? I mean, he's got a, almost an eighty RA. He's got ten innings pitched. He's given up uh, nine earned runs in these ten point one innings. Uh, four walks, so he puts people on base. I always want to take the over, but I don't know if, I mean, who's hitting for these teams? I like Sanchez if we're in the 130 kind of range, 120. I, it's just the Mets are just not, I mean, you mentioned Stroman, the guy opts out. They have problems all over. This is a, a crazy game. Maybe, you know, take the a little, go a little ballsy here. Why not go Nats and maybe a run line, rather? And if they're a favorite, maybe get back a better, a little better on the return because he is not a good pitcher with a, a 780 ERA. So I'm, you know what, my little run line. If if you really want to dabble in this game, I, I you could do that. But you know, listen, we do the videos. We try to give picks on all the games. But sometimes, guys, you just gotta right. pass. You don't have to bet eleven you NBA don't have games to bet every game. and and ten <laughs> baseball and four playoff hockey games. We try to give you insight on all because everybody's a fan of a certain team. So you kind of want to get ah, maybe I'll bet my team. Who's this guy like on it? Sometimes you just don't have to do it. Sometimes it doesn't work out. I really like Anibal Sanchez gives up four runs per start. I mean, that's pretty much his. Mo, You know, he's going to give up four or five runs in the first five innings with this unknown pitcher coming in for the Mets. I like to play the over first five. I think there's going to be some hiccups in that first five innings. Pitchers trying to shake off whatever they've got to shake off and the bats are going to fly. Plus, it's the last game in their series. Mets are going to want to get a win if they lose today. You know, someone's going to want to even things out. I like the over in the first five. You heard it here first at picksandparlays.net. Stay tuned for more free picks coming your way.